So something we'll be talking about today are called endocrine disrupting chemicals. And these are basically man-made chemicals that have been around since probably after the Second World War. To date, we've probably made about 90,000 chemicals. And now we know that probably about 1,500 of those are actually gonna be quite harmful. And for you guys, definitely not good for your sperm. So you can find plastics literally everywhere. So four main things or places where you'd find them would of course be till receipts, which people don't realize, soft plastic water bottles, for example, non-stick cookware, and of course things like personal care items like shampoos and conditioner, but they are everywhere. We cannot avoid them. We're just gonna put this can into this really dangerous hydrochloric acid, which is why we've got the gloves on and the glasses. And this is really important because it's going to show us about chemicals. Sometimes they're hidden and you can't actually see them. And we're going to leave the acid the dissolves the aluminium, leaving behind a nasty surprise. What the? It's like jelly. It's a, a jelly can. I'm seeing straight through this thing. So scary. That was the can. What do you guys think that is? It's plastic sleeve. It's a uh, film. Is this all the bad stuff in an aluminium can? Yeah. So that is really the chemicals and the plasticizer that's actually inside the can. That's what this is. So oh, no that's to stop the contents eroding the tin can. So every time you're going to take a sip of a drink, you're likely to get some of the chemicals from the inside of a can. And we see this in all cans, soft drink cans, Every beer single cans. can. Wow. So what does that mean for the health of our sperm? So it means that these chemicals that you're gonna actually drink can actually get inside your body and either that chemical or its breakdown products will travel to your testes and actually affect and negatively affect the development of your sperm and their function. Oh, my poor boys. All right, glass bottles for me. While further research is needed, it's thought that plasticizers are just some of the chemicals negatively affecting sperm. 